Asking students to record their individual thinking and their approach to an assessment can help them avoid breaches of academic integrity. By including elements that require students to reflect on their assessment, to show their thinking or individual approach to an assessment, it increases their sense of ownership. Let's look at how you might do this by taking DCU's virtual learning environment loop as an example. You could ask students to record their thinking on an assessment by using the journal feature on loop. You could require them to do this at the point of submission of the assessment, or what would be more useful would be to treat it as a formative exercise, to ask them to record their individual thinking before or in the middle of preparing their assessment so that you can offer feedback. This is how we will approach it. And this also links to principle seven. On your loop course page, click turn editing on, click add an activity or resource, and select journal. Put the title of the exercise in the name field and then enter a question or prompt for the student to respond to in the journal question field. With the days available drop down menu, you can decide to leave the journal open at all time or set a time limit. By limiting the available time, you will motivate the students to complete the work early. And this links to principle five. You could also choose to grade the students' entries, perhaps by using a scale, such as unsatisfactory, satisfactory, outstanding, or you could use no grade at all and just use this exercise in a purely formative manner. Click save and return to course. The journal is now ready and students can go ahead and create an entry. When you wish to review the journal entries, click to access it and then click view journal entries. A list of all the students enrolled in the course appears along with their journal entries. Under each entry, there is an option to award a grade if you have chosen to enable the grading. And there is also a text box into which you can type feedback. After entering feedback, Scroll to the end of the page and click Save all my feedback. Students will now be able to go back in themselves and view the entry that they submitted alongside the grade that you awarded and the feedback that you provided. You could use several journal tasks in conjunction with an assessment where a student records their initial thinking in one journal, receives feedback from you, applies it in their assessment preparation, and then writes another entry in another journal, updating their thinking and their assessment approach, receive more feedback from you, and so on. In this way, students will be motivated to complete the work themselves by being able to demonstrate how their thinking is unfolding, and they'll feel more engaged with the assessment task as a result.